This is so exciting. Okay, yeah. Wow, good for you. You knew how to like spell my name and everything. <laughs> oh my gosh. There you go. Hello everyone. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. How many times can I say, oh my gosh? Um, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can buy a print. Um, that was Crystal. Oh, you can't buy a print. That's okay. It's fine. I just love interacting with you guys. This is so cool. Um, who's Harry Arm? Oh, that's Campbell. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean to out you. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Are doing, I don't know how, I'm so bad at names. Hi, I'm good. Um, okay, so today I'm with Streamly, signing from the comfort of my home. Um, my animals hopefully will be making an appearance at some point. They definitely will. They've been running around all morning. Um, okay, so I guess I'll get started. I have this uh, Kif print by Craig, for Craig, sorry, for Craig. And um, thank you so much for being such a devoted fan. And... Um, yeah, I, I love the I would just do little Yeah, no, but City Island is, is kind of, that one's a wild one because it's, it's a PV. You gotta pitch this down or something. It just sounds too much like me. Um, voice and they're like, let's get it back to what you normally just sound like. <laughs> Which um, is all right, I understand. Okay. All right, Jonathan. Thank you for being a friend. A fan. Okay, there you go, Jonathan. Okay. So I'm, I'm skipping Kyle? No, no. I need uh, the waitress one. So, uh, the waitress and the yeah. symbol of Penny are the ones that we're missing today. Oh, bummer. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Kyle. Wait. Hold on. So, you already, you already made the answer. So okay, go, 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 go. All right. This one's for Sydney. Hi, Sydney. Um, oh, my gosh. Add some spider webs. Boy, oh, boy. I did not practice any sort of <laughs> cartoon uh, oh. drawings. Forget. Yeah. Sorry, I'm jumping in here. Yeah. Sydney left a message. Oh. Let me see this real quick. Whoa. Uh oh. Sydney, I'm sorry. I don't think it worked. Hang on. Let me. See. Oh my gosh. How cool. Maybe I can pull it out of mine. Let's see. Yeah. Otherwise. Wait, I didn't know that they could leave a video message. How fun. Some of them can. They're screened, obviously. <laughs> um, <clears> there <throat> we go. Okay. Doing this off camera. Um, see, this is what Sydney said. Sydney. Oh, Sandy, thank you so much. 
that's so cool. I did not know that you could do that. That's, no one prepped me for that emotionally. That was wonderful. Sydney. My bad. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do my best spider web, but I guarantee you it's not gonna look actually like a spider web because I don't actually, it's gonna look like a, a COVID germ. Um, <laughs> this is what I did. I'm sorry, it doesn't look very good. I'm not a drawer. Um, I wish I was, I think. That's such a cool skill set. Um, my name is Penny Faker. Oh my goodness. Robot emoticons too? Oh my gosh, you're really putting me to work, robot. Um, this looks like a, a demented ghost. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I did okay. That was my robot. Oh, I'll add some antennas. Maybe that'll help. This, that, now it looks like a, a weird like finger puppet alien, but it is what it is. I did my best. It's with my heart and soul. Thank you, Sydney, for being a fan. And for sending me a cool video. That's so awesome. Okay, let me um, see. Is that yeah. the next one we're skipping today okay. as well? Um, oh, okay. For the yeah, reasons right. we discussed. Mine or mine, okay. Let me write it down. Oh yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, Kiff is king, yo. <laughs> How was I cast as Kiff? I auditioned like anyone else. I auditioned in my closet, actually. Um, it was a pandemic hire, and that was a really wild time because I was renovating my house, and um, for a few months there, I like the voiceover studios were like, this is all we can do. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm at an Airbnb with an empty closet. So I don't really know how um, to record. And so I would just like stuff my closet with um, like quilts and pillows. And I don't know if it was any good, but I ended up getting the job, which was like a godsend. I mean, any sort of employment during the pandemic was like, whew, thank you. Um, okay. Oh, am I supposed to write numbers on the back of this? No, that's your Okay, that's your Okay. <laughs> okay, this is for Liz. Oh my gosh, it's your birthday, Liz. How cool. Oh, we can barely catch it. Oh, that's so funny. Um, thank you. Any special? Oh, okay, Liz. I, I heard that. I don't know. I think it's Liz is the kid. And this is... Um, their parents saying this, but it said, uh, we can bear the kids show because of you, which is the kids shows because of you. That's funny. I love that. All right, Liz. Oh my gosh. I'm so bad. <laughs> this is how I spelled Liz. I mean, it's how you spell it, but you can almost not even tell. I'm, I have really bad handwriting. Sometimes. We have extras too. Okay. I think it's special. I think it makes it unique. Um, I have not seen the waitress movie. Um, I don't even know where you can see it. I'm sure it's everywhere. People are telling me about it. Um, thank you. Oh, okay. So I thought that the parents were writing this for Liz, but Liz must not be a kid because this is for Orange is the New Black. Oh, I love that you're holding Steven. You're like, I had to. He was attacking all the yeah, friends. He was eating your friends, so I had to... <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's a stamp of approval. And I apologize. I'm like, I can't help it, but I draw hearts all over everything, so I hope you enjoy that. <laughs> um, okay. Who do we have next, Campbell? Um, Sarah? That was Liz. Um, yeah, do you want to... These four, Ruby and Roxanne. Okay. Do you want to line them up for me? Just kind of like yes. stack them right yes. here. Okay, Absolutely. thank you. Me... All right. What drew you to the role of Dawn? Well, honestly, I mean, what do you think? Sarah Burles' music. I heard the song and I was like, I was honestly going to move to LA at that point and just like not pursue theater anymore. And because um, I was just like, New York is really hard for me. It's just a really intense city and... Um, I just was having really bad anxiety at the time, and then I heard um, the song, Sarah Bareilles' demo, and I was like, okay, there's there's no way I can't audition for this. There's no way I can't just, like, 
try. Um, and so I did, and I really, oh my gosh, <laughs> sorry, I just got a text message. Um, there's no way I can like just pass this opportunity up. I had wanted to be on Broadway my whole life, and it was just one of those things. And I, I didn't get the role actually at first. I don't know if they thought I was too young or what, but I, I didn't get it and I was super bummed and heartbroken. And then for the Broadway production, they were like, we've thought of you for this role since. And so, um, and I like, I wish I could show you, I wish I had kept the lyric sheet that I had printed for the audition. Campbell, how are we doing? doing good okay just lining these up for you sir okay i don't have any right now Carl. oh no i'm good i'm um, getting a stack but i i like i printed out the lyrics. it's such a long song that it was 11 pages of music so it's like you know and to read all those lyrics i printed out the lyric sheet i like highlighted i like put them in different fonts and bold and italic and like you know different colored markers and everything so i could like my eye could catch the lyrics if I would forget. Um, it was a whole process. And uh, so I was really dedicated to getting the part, and I'm so glad I got it. Anyway, um, yeah. Okay, this is for Ruby and Roxanne for Centaur World. I love that people watch this show. It, it is so ridiculous and so trippy and, like, I don't know, it's like worlds melding and it's serious and it's hilarious at the same time and it's kind of stonery, but it's also for kids. It's so fun. And all my favorite Broadway people are in it. Like I was kind of geeking out. Um, not only was I geeking out because I got the lead role, but I also was geeking out because anytime I would see the cast list for who played what roles, because um, we would go episode by episode, I would just freak out a little bit because I mean Leia Salonga come on she's iconic okay this is for Ruby and Roxanne Ruby and Roxanne Woo. um oh it says uh oh from orange is the new black to Izzy to horse kiff etc you rule I love that people like do some crossover watching um like it's not just from one thing they actually like see like Orange is the New Black to, like, Kiff. It's so different. I mean, Kiff is hilarious, though. It's all, it's all like, enjoyable for, for older people, which I love. Okay. Um, thank you for being a fan. Um, you know, I actually, I don't know how this works, but if they don't put special instructions to write something, am I just supposed to sign it? Yeah, you just put your signature. Because I've been writing shit on it. Oh, you can. <laughs> okay. Um, I hope you like it. I can redo it if you don't. Um, okay, that was for Ruby and Roxanne. Thank you so much for watching all this stuff. It's so cool. Okay, this one. Is this for Brian? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Brian, Spider Verse fan. Brian. Okay, now I'm just going to sign my name so that I'm not being extra, even though I sort of wrote some extra shit on there. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. What are you guys saying? Sean, you singing when he sees me, and now I can only imagine you yelling, Barry. <laughs> I love it. Okay, hi. Oh, hi, Jessica. Oh my gosh, she's been a long time fan. I love you, you're so cute. Um, <clears throat> okay. Thank you so much for my Penny Parker return. I know, I, I really hope um, Penny Parker's in the next movie. I hear that there's a quite a possibility. I mean, just not from anyone official, just from like people who watch Spider-Verse. Um, <laughs> oh, love my necklaces. Okay, so. Fun fact, I bought this this weekend. Um, I got all these really cool um, watch necklaces from this, oh, I feel terrible. This live is just at the worst angle ever. Um, but from this girl, uh, Telly Bowie, at Telly Bowie, T-E-L-L-Y Bowie. Um, but she has the most amazing necklaces. I mean, not just watch necklaces, but like <clears throat> just she 
she takes vintage items and then like foo-foo's it up. I don't know how you <laughs> describe it, but she adds her own flair to it and it's, um, I don't know, she's gonna be my new stylist. <laughs> All right, this is for Matthew Koppel? Capel? Capel, okay. Thank you, Campbell. <laughs> of course. Um, Matthew Capel. Okay. Thank you for being a fan. Love you as Harlow on Lies on Demand. I love Lies on Demand, and I like. I'm so surprised more people haven't watched it because it's just such brilliant writing. Um, this is for Tom. Ducktails. How you doing, Campbell? On like, I think I have one more in this stack, and I'm ready to go on another. Um, but yeah, Lies on Demand is on YouTube. It's with Liza Koshy. And it's such a fun show. The writing is so fast paced and it's like Liza Koshi and Travis Coles and me were like kind of the, the threesome, the trio in there. And, um, it's such a fun time. You should really watch it. I think it's for free or maybe the first episode is, is free. And then the rest is behind like the YouTube premium paywall. But I think you'll be hooked after the first. It's so good. Okay. Mm. All right, another one down. Oh, weird. It says, I'm making this out to no one. <laughs> it says, make it out to none. Um, and. I think that just means, so you just don't do the name. And then yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'll just sign it, I'll sign it for you. Um, Oh, I'll put a couple hearts. That's my natural inclination anyways. All right. Heart, heart. There you go. Spider-Verse fan. Whoever you are. All right. Actually, the rest of these orders uh, are missing, but um, I think we can clean this up a little bit because uh, we're still signing in stores to open, guys. So yeah. if you guys want to check out the uh, link pinned there, um, you can buy right now. Uh, this The store is not closed. Uh, get one. Just in time, we can't guarantee it's arrival <laughs> due to holiday shipping, but yeah. um, we can definitely get you one for your loved one and you will have proof of purchase. Did you hear that, you guys? You can, there's a pin, um, there's a pinned link at the bottom and during this live, you can purchase and write any of this and it'll pop up on my screen um, in case you didn't realize that this is still happening in real time. Um, there are a couple more, but I wanted to give you an opportunity to do that if you'd like. Let's see. Um, oh, wow, yeah, Lion Guard. I did the Lion Guard. I played a Snow Leopard and Chaloon, and she's very cool. Marvelous work. Hi. Does anyone at PBS know about your Carmen San Diego work? Well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, is that my dog in the background? This is Arnold. Say hi, Arnold. Arnold, come here. Say hi. I've had Arnold for nine years. He's my best friend in the whole wide world. Um, I rescued him in LA um, at this adoption event in um, uh, on in in Tailwaggers on Bronson, which is it's like a pet store. Um, but it was life changing in the best way. He's the best. He's such a character. Yeah, say hi. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Let's see. Have you been on Adventure Time? No. Is Adventure Time still going? Um, Fiona and Kate was like a spinoff that just went. I don't think the show itself is still going. Okay. Yeah, I mean, um, some of the KIF people uh, did Adventure Time, so that would have been super cool, but, you know, apparently it's not still going. Um, I'm the retake supervisor in KIF, and we love Oh, thank you so much, Angela Animates. Um, waitress make more music. I kid you not. Oh, Jessica. I love you, Jessica. Oh, this is so nice. I know it's kind of like weird because I'm just reading comments right now. I am excited for the Hasbun Hotel release. Um, that's going to be amazing. I just, 
it has such a fan base. I um, I didn't realize I had just been told about it. Um, basically, Has Been Hotel, I think, released a pilot on YouTube, and then it got such a fan base just from that pilot that um, they're going to actually put out an entire series. So um, I'll be playing a part in it. Um, I realized during the Comic-Con that I went, it was my first Comic-Con. I'll keep doing them, by the way. I'll be at more conventions next year, starting next year, um, because I realized it was such a great way to interact with you guys. And I guess I didn't, I didn't realize that it was such a, there was such a fan base for animation. I do a ton of it. I love it so much. It's like some of my favorite work, um, because I get to express myself. I get to, um, be really animated and, and, um, sing and do music and everything. So it keeps that muscle going, but I didn't realize like, how lovely the fans would be. So it was really exciting to um, have that experience and I'm gonna keep doing it. Um, oh, uh, there are a couple more, right? A few more? Uh, there, so we're waiting on a few more orders to come in, but okay. while we're having you there, I'm just gonna showcase what we got going. Yeah. I'm mind just slapping a generic signature on a few of these. <clears throat> <laughs> generic signature. And these will be up for people who may have missed the live and uh, totally. can uh, get last minute gifts. Yeah. These are great for, you know, last minute Christmas gifts. <laughs> if, uh, if you don't know what else to get your friends, your family. Um, I'm signing some of these and um, you can order them right now on the live if you'd like. But if you've missed it, um, I'm sure you can order just like, you know, your generic signature and I can sign it and put some hearts and then you can give it to a loved one. Um, if they're a big fan of Spider-Verse or a big fan of Kith or Centaur World or Close Enough or any of, or Waitress or Orange is the New Black or anything. Um, okay. Penny Parker. Oh my gosh. I was so young. I was so young back in the day. I look the same and yet so different. So interesting. Um, Orange is the New Black was such a funny one because I literally, my life changed overnight when I got Orange is the New Black. Um, I think I was sent the audition at 6 p.m. the night before. It was like nine pages of just monologuing. Um, because Brooke, as you know, doesn't shut the fuck up. Um, so I was like, oh my gosh, I had just been watching the show. I was literally on Netflix watching the show. I was five episodes in or something and I clicked out of it to take a break and I clicked into my email and it said audition for Orange is the New Black and I was like, no way. Am I tripping? And I like, <laughs> I opened the email and I was like, no, no. Oh my God, I have to kill this. Oh my God, it's at 11 a.m. the next day. And so I, um, you know, canceled everything slash I did probably had no plans because I'm a loner. Um, just kidding. Um, but I, I, you know, practiced the shit out of it and I don't even know how I got the part. I like did, did each scene, I think once through, um, with Jen Houston and I guess it was the same for a lot of people. They just like auditioned once and then got it. Um, no callback or anything. I think Genji might have seen me in a show um, a couple nights prior because I was doing Shakespeare in the Park at the time. Lucky me. Um, but I, yeah, I got cast and then the next day it was like, you have to be um, on set tomorrow. <laughs> and I was like, oh God, okay. I guess I'll be doing this. So it was super cool. And then for the next four or five years, I was playing Brooke Soso who, by the way, on the character breakdown, they had initially wanted a blonde with dreads. And so I was like, there's no way, but I'm going to, you know, try my best. And, you know, I don't know why I keep, like, showing this to you like it's proof of me signing it. But, I don't know. Habit. You have it? <laughs> I'm Vanna White over here. Um, and I just, Kiff is a new um, show, and I'm so happy that people are loving it because I've had the most fun doing it. Um, and I love the animation. I love that it's um, just like classic cartoon, like drawings. It's not like your like modern day 3D, like digitally produced animation. It's It's got so much character. The creators are brilliant. Um, 
I don't know. I'm having the best time doing it and I'm so happy people are responding to it because that means it'll go on and on forever. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, if you're a fan of like Adventure Time or any of those like um, kind of adult stoner but young person uh, friendly <laughs> cartoons, um, you're going to love Kif because it's really good okay oh yeah i go go kiro i will do more acoustic singing posts i actually um i was thinking because it takes a lot to do the acoustic um singing posts any any post of me singing takes a lot of kind of effort and um <clears throat> anxiety to be honest because you know i'm a perfectionist i don't like thinking that like my I don't know how to auto-tune things. I don't know how to like do any of that. So um, I just have to get a really good take. And so because of that, it causes a lot of like, a lot of work, a lot of anxiety. And so I've been thinking about making a Patreon so that it's at least a little bit more, um, not worth my time, but just, uh, it pays me back in a way. Um, and I'm just realizing that people really want to see that sort of thing so it's exciting um <clears throat> let's see why am i why am i showing you still my life is a teenage robot i don't know that one kiff chatterly message to me graduate is there any chance i could interview you at some point possibly um you might need to get in touch with my pr but it's not an impossibility let's see Debbie Cantrell. Oh, I see, I see, I see. That's like a, a fan-created show. Yeah, I do look the same. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm so far behind on these comments. Hold on, let me skip down to the bottom. Nifty was here. Um, you know, it says, I sent a letter to your manager, Shauna Wexler, and I don't know who Shauna Wexler is. <laughs> I don't think that's my manager. Um, I definitely... That's not my manager's name, <laughs> so I'm sorry. You might need to try again. Um, I just got new managers, actually, and they uh, it's listed on my IMDb if you want to go on there. Um, new music. Oh, yeah, I also, um, I also am writing music. I write music generally just for myself, um, just to get out feelings and to not, like, hold stuff in. And there's something about, like, it's like journaling or poetry, but, um, I don't know, there's something so satisfying about music. I wrote a song about one of the hardest moments of my life, and it sounds so silly, but I, I wrote it. It was exactly how I was feeling, and I listened to it over and over because it just helped me feel validated. <laughs> and um, I don't know if that's a crazy thing to say or if anyone who writes music does the same thing, um, but it made me feel... Like I wasn't crazy and I will release that at some point because I think a lot of people that I've shown respond to that song um, once I tell them what the story is and like everything that happened uh, it's kind of a bop <laughs> um, but that also I'm thinking about putting on a patreon page and I also was thinking and I'm gonna put this out there um, and don't hold me to it but I but it might interest some people, um, of playing the guitar and singing, but, uh, being in the nude, but not so you can see anything, but you know, I thought it, it reminded me of that one. Um, do you know, uh, Forrest Gump, that scene, um, where Jenny is playing the guitar? Um, I think, I don't know who it's for, but I don't know, I just thought that was such a beautiful image. And I thought that would draw people to the page. Um, okay. It doesn't say that she's in the boys. No, I'm not in the boys, you guys. My name is Kamiko. I'm not the Kamiko character. <laughs> I did audition for her, however. I didn't get the part. Um, <laughs> uh, lower decks, yes. Um, la, 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 la. Carlos, I see you, but I don't know if I can do that. I'm sorry. Do you listen to any acapella music? Um, I mean, like, 
Is there a aca- Oh, oh, you mean like um those uh those choirs that do a cappella music? No, I don't. <laughs> but I was a fan of that one um ah, oh, that one reality show. What was it called? The Sing Off? Do you know? I think it was called The Sing Off with um Ben Folds. Yeah, they did some beautiful shit on there. Um, but no, I don't like listen to it for fun. And honestly, I don't listen to a lot of music for fun. I mostly listen to podcasts and that sounds so nerdy, but that's just my reality. Um, but I was listening to music today. Campbell knows. Yes. <laughs> um, we have a couple more. Uh, did, did, are those in the mix or? Uh, so those are the ones we're missing. Oh, um, they're, so those we're are missing. The ones, uh, we will get done at a separate time. It's only four orders. Uh, oh, okay. Else oh wait, there are five. Oh, wait, we can't fulfill this this one right here. Yes. Okay. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, okay. But um, I'll tell you what. Yeah. Um, we can probably start wrapping up. Well, yeah, we'll start winding down here. Okay. Uh, Good way to get everyone's feet wet with this, um, but I think uh, we'll leave it open for about five more minutes, guys. Yeah. Uh, as soon as the live ends, the store also closes. Um, we'll get those pre-signed up soon, though, uh, for purchase. Yeah. If you guys want to put in a last-minute order, now is the time. Yeah, so I, I didn't realize, but the store does close once this live is over. So um, there are, uh, I think, about four orders I can't fulfill um, currently, but I will, and I'll send you like a separate live, um, not live, a separate video of myself, um, so that you know, oh, no, 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 not for two of these, only for, <laughs> okay, there are two people that I'm going to create a video for, and that is for Kyle and Toby Tsai, thank you so much, um, and the others, I will fulfill these, but I can't do it on the live, Sarah, I can't do it, and, um, right now currently and then there's someone else who doesn't want their name to be shown um but yes so we are going to stay on for five more minutes if you want to um press the link in the bio buy a print and i can shout you out um and you write something fun type yeah. it in the url because uh, the, the link in the the thing probably isn't clickable but uh oh. if you guys want to type in the url it's literally just streamly.com forward slash uh Kimiko glenn and then, uh, yeah, it'll take you right to the store. Oh, I didn't know you could click on it. Um, Stephanie Stilton from Bojack. I don't currently, but I could. That's something that I could have in the future for sure. Um, let's see. Thank you. It's me. Oh, love you from the crying girl at Waitress. Oh, you're so cute. Um, do I plan to be on an, in any more Broadway shows? To be honest, um, not in the near future, unfortunately. I, I, um, I sort of made the executive decision recently. I think the pandemic put things into perspective of like what was important to me, what was necessary for my happiness and peak joy, right? And I think I had such a difficult time living in New York and being in New York um, it's a really hard city for me, and typically with Broadway, you have to sign on for like a year, which is kind of intense, um, especially for someone who doesn't thrive in New York City. So, um, and the economics aren't great, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, it takes up a year of your life, and um, there's not a lot of pay that happens, and so it has to really, really, really be worth it. Um, if the right project comes along, if the right creative team comes along, then that's the case. But I've been always very picky in general with those things because I don't, it's a lot to dedicate your life to that and, or a year of your life anyway to that. And so um, I just have really cracked down and gotten far more picky with theatrical things um, just because I love my life in LA. There's sunshine, there's space, my animals thrive here. I don't know how I would even get them to New York if I had to. Um, I guess I'd drive. But yeah, it would be an entire endeavor. So I've decided to kind of keep it at voiceover and film and TV as much as possible and um, live in that space for a while and see where that puts me in life. And so far it's been working out for me. 
New York is overrated. Yoshimi Remount. Oh my gosh. I did this, um, this world premiere of Yoshimi Battles the Pink Robots. It was a Flaming Lips musical and it was the whole album of Yoshimi Battles the Pink Robots. It was, you know, kind of taking other songs from other albums and it was so good. The concept was as follows. Um, basically, a young girl, Yoshimi, finds out she has cancer and so she lives between this like reality world and this fantasy world of um, her battling these pink robots, which obviously is symbolic. Um, and it's symbolic of her like fighting the cancer and everything. It was such a beautiful show. And the Flaming Lips have such um, just heartbreaking and beautiful lyrics. Um, and they all kind of address our mortality. And so it was just kind of the most perfect show. And it was something I wish could be remounted. I don't know what the plans are for it, but um, seeing as I'm not really in the theatrical realm these days, I would love for it to be a, a film, but I don't know. It's not up to me. Um, but yeah, Campbell, what do you think? Should we wrap it up? I think that's a good place to stop. Okay. Um, all right, guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, we'll be sure to try and do another one of these uh, probably next year if we can. Uh, and mm -hmm. if not, uh, expect the missing order soon, guys. I do apologize for that. Holiday shipping's got us... Uh, destroying ourselves over here. So um, we will get those to you really soon. I hope everyone has a fantastic day. Yeah. And we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. I had so much fun, you guys. Ah, bye. <laughs> All right. See you guys.